All right, guys, I'm recording this quick video because I had no idea that these flash sale discs were going to come in this quickly, but uh, living close to the Criterion warehouse has its advantages, and I should probably start ordering from them um, if, if they're this quick, because even Amazon Prime isn't this quick, but um, I bought 10 titles, and 10 titles, six of them I've watched, uh, four of them I have not, and... I wanted to first start off, I'll just jump right into it. Uh, the Passion of Joan of Arc is first uh, by Carl Theodore Dreyer. Dreyer. Um, what what a movie. Uh, maybe top three silent film of all time. I, I probably do that. Uh, well, this movie, maybe City Lights, and then probably Sunrise, I would say is top three. But this movie is absolutely incredible. Um, the face of Rene Falconetti is cinema. Uh, and uh, I like the the contrast here and this and the and the booklet here. And uh, just a uh, a real challenging work. Of, uh, just what what has been said that hasn't already been said. Just a wonderful, wonderful movie. And I do find it strange that even back in 1928, people really didn't buy this, nor did the year prior, they they didn't watch Napoleon by Abel Gons. They didn't know, those French people didn't know what they were missing, man, <laughs> with with this one and uh, the other movie. But but maybe because Bo, um, Abel Gons was a madman and like recorded like three screens at once. Um, but anyway, so that that is uh, going to be a great watch, has a uh, commentary, has two um, well, 24 frames per second is one presentation and the other is 20 frames. So um, a very, a very, I just can't wait to watch this again. It's going to be awesome. Now, this is on me, but I have not watched a lot of Robert Altman. I actually have ne never watched a Robert Altman film. And there was a period where all of his films were on the Criterion channel and I missed it. And I still kick myself over it because the only one I think is on now is the player and that is of October of uh, 2022 and I haven't watched that one yet but I wanted to start off you know just rounding this out well first for Robert Allman and I got three women which I've read and said that it's kind of sort of along the lines of persona uh, apparently this is about a really crazy nightmare that he had excuse me but uh Sissy Spacek and Shelley Duvall man you can't go wrong with them um I've also heard that the well read that the audio commentary track featuring Robert Altman is incredible on this. Uh, so I can't wait to dive in on this one as well. There's another Robert Altman I have that I've never seen as well and it's Shortcuts. Uh, so let me go ahead and before I do that, I'll open up for three women because I do love this, um, this little booklet here. I love this art here. Uh, here is, um, but anyway, here's Shortcuts again, and uh, based on the short works by Raymond Carver, I believe, and uh, they said that this is more of like an ensemble thing with, um, same thing with Nashville, I believe, but it's set in contemporary Los Angeles, I don't know, that's all I've heard about it, and I just thought, hey, why not? And so here's the little booklet here with the two discs, because there's so many, um, there's so much stuff on here. I wish Criterion did more two discs stuff but you know they can only get what they can get so i have watched this movie uh masculine feminine uh by john luc Godard, and uh, i watched this on the channel and i loved it and i had to get it uh maybe Godard's best film period 65 66 and 67 uh that pure Pir Pir Fou, um this movie weekend and two three two or three things i know about her I believe it, and those are the four movies that I really like from him the most, or at least that I've seen. And uh, I do love this <laughs> little record here, uh, a little booklet, which is very extensive, mind you. And uh, just, yeah, I can't wait to watch this again. This was a, a really fun little time capsule of Parisians back in 1966. I do like how it kind of devolves, you know, into like this. Um, documentary style interviewing these young kids because Godard was just more interested in that. So here I've gotten mixed, um, not mixed feelings on it, but mixed uh, looking it up and hopefully it's it's as good as I think it is, but it's uh, Berlin Alexanderplatz by uh, Fassbinder. 
uh, Rene Werner Fast Binder. And I have watched his more accessible work. I've watched uh, World on a Wire and uh, Ali Fear Eats the Soul, and I really enjoy those movies. So I wanted to, you know, tackle into a little bit of this more challenging stuff. I haven't watched like Bitter Tears of Petra Van Kant or, um, you know, um, any, uh, Fox and Friends, anything like that I haven't watched. Um, all of this is on the Criterion channel, but I thought I would get this just because I would spend a little bit more time with it and um, wanted to see what it was all about. So, um, yeah, definitely can't wait to check that out. I'll take out this and show the artwork here. It's incredible. I, I do like that it is sort of of the time of, you know, 60s Weimar Germany. So there's a big booklet here. And that, I think, um, includes an interview from the cinematographer and all that good stuff. So now we got All That Jazz by Bob Fosse. And I watched a long time ago uh, Cabaret, and I enjoyed that movie. Um, those The dance scenes in that with Liza Minnelli are still arresting, and that's all because of Bob Fosse's choreography. And um, it's... I can't wait to watch this. Everyone says it's a masterpiece. I, I haven't I haven't seen any previews. I'm going into this completely blind, and and hopefully it's as good, if not better, than Cabaret because Cabaret was a really good movie. So next is um, another <laughs> Altman movie. The last Altman movie I got was uh, McCabe and Mrs. Miller, because the thing with Altman is is that I couldn't find like a singular movie. Maybe besides Nashville. Everyone said was his, you know, masterpiece, whatever, like that. I wanted to, you know, get sort of three things, like er, like early Altman, mid, you know, with three women, and then later on in shortcuts. So, yeah, McCabe and Mrs. Miller. There's this here. And I, I'm sorry, I forgot to do all that jazz, didn't I? And I think that that's cool. It's just more bombastic, you know, than the very simple cover. And... Yeah, I can't wait to view that. I've already talked about it on the channel, but Husbands, I finally got the copy here from uh, John Cassavetes. John Cassavetes, oh my God. John Cassavetes. And um, I, I loved it when I saw it on the Criterion channel. The only Cassavetes that I haven't got. Um, yeah, I don't think many of Moskowitz has a copy. I will, has a, um, has a copy for Criterion, but um, definitely cannot wait to check that out again. And uh, there's a commentary here by Mr. Uh, Owl... No, Marshall Fine. And so I wanted to hear the commentary on that one. Here's some more. Um, so here's the recent. If you can't tell, I've been doing this by spy number. But um, here is uh, Irma Bett, Oliver, uh, Olivier Assayas, right? And when I first watched this on the Criterion channel, I was kind of mixed on it because I didn't. I'm not a really big fan of Day for Night. I understand it's a very important movie and, you know, sort of the self-reflexive thing about just movie making in general, but I didn't care much for it. And um, when I watched Irma Vep, I kind of had those same feelings because it had that same sort of just, you know, um, free-for-all structure, but there's really not a whole lot you can bite on. I wanted, I wanted to give that another try again and also just uh, look at all the extras. <laughs> Excuse me. And yeah, I just wanted to spend time with it as well. Uh, Exotica, and this is the last one, Adam, Atom, uh, Igo Yan, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. But dude, what a movie this is. This was incredible. I saw this on the channel and I knew I had to have it. It's, this also includes another movie called Calendar and um, two short films as well. No, three short films from Igo Yan as well. So they packed this all on one uh, disc. Hopefully it, you know, it, it looks great just as I saw it on the channel, but it looks, uh, very, very good. And, uh, I can't wait to dive into the commentary because I don't think it had it on the channel for some reason. It had the movie, but it didn't have the commentary. Um, so I'll go ahead and check that out, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm super excited and, um, I'll, I'll give more thoughts and opinions on these titles. Eventually I'll start pumping out content for you all to enjoy, but um, thank you for clicking on this video and I'll get to it. Thank you.